morning. Happy Monday. Hopefully you all are feeling bright and wide awake. If not, we will definitely wake you up. Um, my name is Shannon. I'm going to do an hour, uh, just an all-level vinyasa flow class. Um, so we're going to get into a little bit of everything, but I want you to just take a moment, find a comfortable seated pose. Now, it might be like this for me today. I'm going to sit on my knees. And so this can be a really nice meditation um, position as well. If you have anything going on with the knees that's a little uncomfortable, again, sit any way that might be legs extended out. Might even be in a chair. So I want you to close your eyes and just start to draw your awareness inside. And kind of recognize and see a little how you're feeling today about your breath at this point. Just notice little things. Awareness first. good in the body, or sometimes we draw our awareness to what doesn't feel as good in the body. Now add in your breath, so breathing out through your nose, and just notice now how maybe that changes some of the things you are noticing or focusing on or recognizing. And if you can, take one hand to your heart, one hand to your stomach, and without trying to put the breath in any particular place, notice when you breathe in, does it seem to fill up your belly a little bit more? Or does it seem to fill up your chest a little more? Or is there an equality to both hands as you breathe in? And even as you exhale, where am I putting my breath? Where am I putting my focus? And just notice how you're breathing. And sometimes this noticing is such a powerful tool. The opportunity to kind of recognize and feel what's happening internally. And then filling up your belly a little up the chest, maybe taking it to the base of the throat, and from the chest back down to the belly. And just seeing if you can start that pattern of filling up the entire body. Maybe before you add in that exhale, you're offering a little pause at the top. And maybe before you offer the inhale, you're pausing at the bottom. And just find a few of cycles of breath this way. Now if thoughts enter your head, it's okay. But if you can, just quiet your mind and allow whatever is happening to happen. And just start to hone your attention more on the body rather than necessarily what's going on around you. But quieting your mind. And our yoga practice is quieting our mind enough so we can be in tune with what's going on in the body and just giving the mind a little bit of a, a break so we can 
give more attention to the body. And then maybe taking your hands to your heart, if you have a few words of gratitude and thanks, saying those. A nice practice to start is if you noticed that there were areas of your body that did not feel so great, to offer gratitude to those particular areas. If you have a knee pain, offer gratitude that the knee is still working, that it's still supporting or it supported you all this time. And watching the language, but giving gratitude towards those areas that maybe aren't as cooperative, but are still in the game. This is a really powerful tool to healing your body. If we offer gratitude to the areas that aren't feeling so good and tell them we're so appreciative of how they're still working, they start working better, they start working more. So maybe setting an intent for your practice today. And then wherever you are, I just want you to fold forward for a moment. Now, if you're on your knees, you can do this. If you're in a seated pose, you can do this. If your legs are extended out, make this a little active, though, and spread your fingertips so your thumb and your fingers aren't touching each other. Spread your shoulder blade and open the shoulders a little bit more. And see if you can walk your arms just out a little further away from each other. Now allow the palms to come down, allow the forearms to come down, and allow the head to come down. Maybe offer a little movement, swaying side to side. As you inhale, round your back a little bit, pull yourself up, chin in towards your chest, and then allow the arms to float up on your inhale. On your exhale, bring your right arm over towards the right side. Again, it doesn't matter how you're sitting. And just allow that right arm to bend. See if you can extend and open the left side body. Bend the left elbow a little bit. Turn your palm up towards the sky. Spread the fingers. The gaze might be up at that, but just some energy into that left side. Reach and extend the left arm over. Palm faces down. Gaze down towards your right hand. On your inhale, lift your chest. Maybe gaze comes up. Bend the elbow. Turn the palm up. Exhale. Reach over towards the right side. One more. Inhale, inflate, lift the chest, and then exhale, reaching over towards the right side. Take your hands down, so your left fingertips are going to come over to the right side, and just bring yourself back into the center. Both arms come up on the inhale, and then exhale, bring and extend the left arm down. You're going to bend the elbow, and then reach your right arm over, and just extend through your right side body. Start to bend your right elbow. Turn your palm, face it up, and if you can, bring your elbow in line with your shoulder. And we're going to extend out, reach your arm over on your exhale towards the left side, palm down. Inhale, lengthen, turn your palm facing up. Exhale, reaching over towards the left side, bend to the left elbow, gaze down. Inhale, gaze skyward, open the heart, open the chest. And then this time, as you exhale, let the right fingertips come over towards the left side. On your inhale, sweep back to the center. Both arms come down. Chin in towards your chest. And I want you to round your back as much as you can. So start to hollow out your belly. Now pull your shoulders back. Walk your fingertips forward. So keeping your fingers connected to the earth, squeeze your abdomen in. Again, it doesn't matter how you're sitting. Chin in towards your chest. Throw your arms down, reaching the gaze up towards the sky. Bring your hands to your heart, thumbs pressed to your chest. So we're going to come to tabletop. So bring your hands down. Wrists and shoulders align, knees and hips align. Uncurl the toes. And just press to the tops of the feet down. Make sure all ten toes are down. So kind of press into the big toes and see if you can get your pinky toes down. Now cow the back. So I'm going to hollow at the back. Bring the belly button down, pull the shoulders towards your bottom. On your exhale, tilt your tailbone and kind of bring your shoulder blades up towards the sky and spread your shoulders, wrap 
wrapping your triceps slightly back, chin in towards your chest, crown of the head is pulling down. On your inhale, pull your chest through, shoulder blades wrap back, triceps are wrapping back, lift your heart, lift your chest, round up, come through cat pose, and start to feel a little bit of everything. See if you can stretch out a little bit more, lengthen the body of the arms. Kind of pull your, uh, the crown of the head down, press to the toes, so keep the feet active here. This time, as you inhale, curl your toes, press your heels back. Lift your heart and pull your chest just through. Pull your shoulders back and just knees forward. Don't put compression in the back of the neck. Lift your heart, lift your chest. We're going to come to neutral pose. So come to a neutral pose. I'm not pushing up, not pushing down. Push into the hands. And I just want you to roll the elbows back and forth. And just, this is going to stretch the wrist. Spread your fingers out. Now press through the arms, cat the back. Keep the toes curled as you do this. So curl the toes, pressing the shoulder blades back a little bit. Draw your head through the arms. Let the neck relax. Move the head side to side. Keep the cat in the body, but start moving the hips a little bit. So it almost might feel like your body is moving in a little bit of a figure eight. Tilt your tailbone in. Walk your fingers in. Come into scared cat. So tend the fingers. Bring the arms to a straighter stance. Pull the head down. You feel relaxation in the back of the neck. Now I'm going to roll up. Inhale slowly, coming up out of the pose. Reach and extend the arms up towards the sky. Take the hands down to the heart, thumbs pressed to the chest. I'm going to reach the arms up one more time. Bring the right fingertips down towards the right side. Left arm is going to reach up towards the sky. Press the left palm up as you push the right palm down. Almost like you're pushing it up against a wall. And inhale, reach both arms up. And let's just exhale, find a gentle fold forward. Almost like a forward fold. Take the fingers down, allow the head to come down. Slowly roll yourself up. So curl the body, let the head hang, push the hips forward, and roll up a vertebra at a time. This time, reaching the arms up. Right hand is going to stay up. Reach the fingertips up. Reach the left fingertips down. And then, I'm going to kind of waiter the hand. So like I'm holding a tray in my arm. Press the wrist. So the wrist is kind of left wrist down. Spread the fingers. And relax the fingers, inhale the arms, exhale. Find that gentle fold, pull the tailbone back, uncurl the toes. Find a child's pose, hands come back behind you. Forehead presses down. Move your body a little side to side. And start to see how this feels in the body. Allow the arms to relax. Now I'm going to walk the fingertips forward. I'm going to find something called knees, chin, chest. So I'm going to move the hands forward as much as I can. Keep the tailbone lifted. Bend the elbows a little bit. Maybe push the chest down. If you have shoulder issues, take your arms out a little bit wider. So you can kind of bring the chin down first. And again, if you're able, you're going to bring the chin down first and then the chest in. Hold here. When you're ready, uncurl your toes. Lift your knees. Walk yourself back. And let your body lie prone. Reach and extend the arms out. I'm going to take the feet up towards the sky. Cactus the arms. Bring the arms towards the side. And just windshield wiper your legs. Make sure your knees are not touching. So they're hip distance apart. Keep the toes facing up towards the ceiling. Press into the palms. The palms are off your mat. Turn a little bit. And Rise up into Bhujangasana, so your cobra pose. Exhale, lower down. Keep the palms pressing down, elbows up. I'm going to place the right foot down, left toes still point towards the ceiling, and see if you can reach the left hip up over towards the left side, maybe the left toes touch to the right side. Stay your breath, and then exhale, bring
bring the hip back down. Bring the right toes up towards the sky. Keep the arms where they are. Left leg reaches straight. Inhale, lengthen the chest. And then exhale. See if you twist, lifting the right hip up. And maybe the right toes touch over towards the left side. Doesn't have to. Keep the arms up. So we're getting a stretch in the shoulders as well. Exhale, lower the leg down. Take both legs down, tend the fingers, and reach the elbows up and roll your chest up a vertebra at a time. Chin is the last thing to come up, gaze up. Exhale, pull the chin forward as you come down. Scoop your chin in towards your chest. Inhale. Press the chin up towards where the edge of the ceiling and the wall meet. Lower down. So I'm not gazing all the way up. Chin in towards the chest. Scoop. Big inhalation. And then exhale. Let go. Reach down. I'm going to curl the toes. Press up through the table. Wrists and shoulders align. Knees and hips align. Round your back. Press through cat pose. We're going to find, so if you need to, you can wrap your blanket. We're going to do a deep breathing exercise. So now that we've got a little bit of movement going in the body, we're going to work on Kambala Bhati. Kambala Bhati is skull shining breath. And we're going to do this as a diaphragmatic breath that we're going to use and kind of almost feel as though somebody is taking a string and Pushing, pulling your belly button back towards your spine. So if you had a string and somebody is kind of pulling it back, that's how it's going to feel. Now, when you're here, I want you to just come into a comfortable seated pose. Feel your spine is really straight. We're going to inhale through your nose. Exhale completely through your mouth. We're going to inhale. And as you exhale, I just want you to go. So it's a sharp exhale through the nose. So we're in a sharp exhale through the nose. It's. And it feels as though somebody is kind of pulsing or pulling with a string your belly button back towards your spine. So. Let's bring those arms out, chin mudra, so finger and thumb come together. And then with your right hand, you take a breath. So let's inhale completely. Exhale halfway. Inhale. Begin. Both hands in chin mudra. Focus on the third eye. Just feel how your body feels in that. Any sensations or feeling that come up. Not defining it, just being aware of what's there. All right, second round. You can do this with your hand on your belly, or you can choose not to have your hand on your belly. So I want you to inhale completely. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale a little. Begin. Now find a pace that's comfortable for you. It might be faster or slower than I am going. Focus on your body. Focus 
on that space between your eyes and start to draw your awareness to any sensations and maybe how the sensations have changed from that first round to the second round. We're going to do one final round. Again, you might take the hand to your belly. We're going to inhale completely. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale halfway. Begin. rhythm to your breathing. And I know this is challenging. Focus on your breath. Focus on the pulsation of your belly. Almost there. Exhale completely. Focus on your third eye. Getting your breathing back to normal. Nice. Take your hands to your heart. All right. We're going to bring our hands. Keep your hands in. Interlock your fingers. I'm going to keep our hands together. And I'm going to inhale, reach and extend the arms up. Exhale, reach your arms over towards the right side. Notice if there's anything going on with the shoulders. And then bend your elbows and kind of pull your hands down. Let your left elbow kind of frame into the side of your head. And keep pushing your left hip down. So you can notice I'm not over on the right side too much. Inhale the arms, reaching back up. Exhale, come back to the center, bring the hands back down. We're going to inhale, lift the fist up, and then exhale just a little over towards the left side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend at the elbow and kind of pull the left elbow down. Right elbow frames around the head as much as you can. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, see if you can sink down a little bit more, but keep the right hip connected. Keep extending the elbow down. Maybe close the eyes, feel how this feels in the body. Inhale, lengthen the arms. Exhale, reach back to the center and bring the hands back down. I'm going to take the hands back behind me. Pull the chin forward and in towards the chest and move your head a little side to side, stretching out through the neck. Now I'm going to bring the fist over towards the right side and I'm going to lift the heart, lift the chest. If this, is, if this hurts the shoulder, just disconnect the hands and maybe take the hands down a little bit more towards the bottom. Don't feel you need to bring them all the way over to the side. If you can, pull the hands in towards the side body. Lengthen the gaze. Lift the crown of the head up. And we're going to exhale actually over to the left side. So I'm going to bring my ear over towards the left side. And just notice how that feels on the right. Inhale, lift the uh, right ear up towards the sky and pull the left ear down a little bit more. On your next inhalation, bring your head back up, and this time, bring your right ear over towards the right shoulder, lengthening through the left side. On your inhale, lift the left ear up towards the sky. Exhale, sink into the stretch a little bit more. On your next inhalation, bring the head back in, and bring the arms back behind you. Separate the elbows, and just frame your hands so your hands are going to kind of touch your back. Lift your heart, lift your chest, squeeze your elbows together. Keep your thumbs reaching up. So this is also a wrist stretch. Keep reaching your elbows towards one another. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Try to keep the pinkies connected. Lift the heart, lift the chest, and then exhale. Squeeze the palm back together. 
I'm going to bring this time, the hands are going to come over towards the right side. Lift the heart, lift the chest. And then exhale, bring the right ear over towards the right shoulder. Lengthen the left side. So I'm lengthening the left ear up towards the sky. Inhale, lift it up a little bit more. And then exhale, sink into the stretch. And notice what's going on with both legs. You're moving the head back to the center. Chin is parallel over the mat. Exhale, reach your left ear towards your left shoulder. Lengthen through your right side. So the right side of the neck is getting long. Lengthen on your inhale, lift your right ear up towards the sky. And then exhale, let your left ear sink more in towards the shoulder. On your inhale, lengthen, reach your head up. And again, reach the arms out. This time, I'm going to fan the arms out as wide as I can. Keep extending the arms out. And then see if you can bring your fist in towards your bottom. Lift your heart, lift your chest, squeeze your elbows. Stop when it's uncomfortable for you. So not where you're getting to a point of pain, but where you're feeling a really good stretch. Lift your heart, lift your chest. Separate your thumbs, separate your hands, frame your hands around your tailbone. Lift your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades together and see if you can keep your thumbs connected to the side of the hips. So getting the hand and the wrist stretch as well. Release your hands. Yeah, and kind of fan them out a little bit, noticing that that's a pretty good wrist stretch. Just move the wrist out a little bit. Take my ring off. So move your wrists out a little bit. We're going to reach and extend the arms up. Separate the fingers, arms forward. Keep separating the fingers and try to pull the fingers more away than the thumbs. Thumbs just reach them towards each other. Keep your fingers in a J. So don't ever extend the thumbs, but pull the pinkies out as far as you can. And see if you can point your middle finger up towards the sky. Now curl your hands in like you're about to make a really tight fist and bring your thumb right in front. Pull your knuckles down towards your wrist, but keep your elbows reaching forward and find this wrist strength. Keep pulling the thumb in. Notice when it wants to curl and press out, but keep pressing the wrist down. Nice. Roll out your wrist, other direction. Face your th uh, knuckles towards you. Keep your thumb tucked in. So your thumb is going to be right along the top of the fingers. Pull your knuckles down, but try to keep your thumb somewhat connected. It might pop open a little bit. See if you can keep pulling the thumb in. Notice which hand has the most struggle here. And then when you're ready, just roll out the wrists. Take and extend the arms out, cactus pose, and let's extend the legs. So stretch your legs out, so you can stretch and reach your toes away from each other. Keep your big toes reaching towards each other, but fan out your feet. Yeah, in the morning they don't fan out quite as well. So I want you to curl in, curl your toes, separate your toes a little bit. We're going to work into the tops of the feet. And just so this is Netra of the Ayaman. This is going to get the muscles of the eyes active as well. Sit up as tall as you can. If you have glasses, I want you to take those off for a moment. And stay here for a moment, sitting up. And when I sit, I want to make sure my lower back is in neutral. So kind of there's a little pelvic tuck. So it comes forward, and I'm sitting up really tall. Now this is going to take all the curvature out of the spine as you sit. And it's also going to work the abdomen a little bit more. So I'm pulling into the core. This is where I'm keeping the abdomen tight throughout my entire yoga practice. So I want you to close your eyes for a moment. Notice that your chin is parallel, that the elbows are soft, the shoulders are pressing slightly back. Now as you open, gaze straight ahead. And if you can, gaze up at where 12 o'clock would be, and then down at where 6 o'clock would be. And go straight up and down. Notice if one eye is leading the way more than the other, or if there's strain in one eye more than the other. Come back to the center, close your eyes, blink a few times. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to gaze over at 3 o'clock, spines in neutral, and then 9. And try to go across this horizontal line. 
side to side. Try to keep your eyes up at where those numbers would be. Notice that they drift down to the four or the seven, or maybe up to the two and the 10. A few more, keeping the chin over the mat, two, one, come back to the center, close your eyes, blink a few times. Spine in neutral, sit up tall, gaze up at 12 o'clock, then I'm gonna gaze over at three, six, nine, 12. And let your eyes bounce around, and then see if you can find the numbers in the clock, and going along this circular movement, noticing the depth of your diameter. I blink a few times. I'm gonna gaze up at 12 o'clock, go over to nine, six, three, 12. I'm just doing those eye movements. And then going around the clock. Then coming back to the center, closing your eyes, blink a few times. I want you to take your hands and just rub your hands together, feeling some energy here. Take your hands across your eyes, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more, breathe in and out. And then drag your fingers across your eyes over to your temples, breathe in. Exhale through your mouth. Exhale through your mouth. Take your hands up around the ears and go around the ears down to the backs of the shoulders and hang off your shoulders for a moment. Breathe in. Exhale through your mouth. One more. Breathe in. Exhale. Take your hands down to your heart and just Set an intent here. Set an intent for your day, a focus of where you want to go, maybe just a beautiful thought towards yourself. And then when you're ready, bring yourself up into your tabletop. If you have glasses, make sure to take those glasses back on. I'm going to use my blocks, and I'm going to take my blocks forward. And I'm going to bring my wrists on my wrists and shoulders align, knees and hips align. Now, round your back a little bit and tuck your tailbone. Bring your right leg up. Make sure your right hip is over the mat. Keep a little tuck in the tailbone so that leg isn't going to be able to come up quite as high. Keep that little tuck. And as you round, curl the inside as much as you can. Push through the arms and pull the knee through the arms. On your inhale, Reach the gaze forward and lengthen through the toes. Round your back, curl in as much as you can. Curl the belly in. Inhale, lengthen. So instead of finding that cow back, try to keep the back reaching long. The toes are reaching back and the crown of the head is almost kind of reaching forward. Exhale, push through the arms, pull the knee through the arms and towards the nose. Curl the body. Inhale, extend, find length. I'm going to take the right foot down over towards the right side, and I'm going to find a side plank. Make sure the left wrist is in line with the shoulder and turn the elbow so the elbow faces forward and that wraps the tricep back. Open the arms. Now, if you're a little unstable here, gaze down towards the thumb. If you're pretty stable, maybe take the gaze up towards the side, and maybe start extending the gaze up towards the right hand. If you can, gaze at your right thumb with your left eye. When you're ready, follow the right arm all the way back down. Keep the right foot reaching back and press your toes into the earth and push the right heel back so you're getting that stretch on the back of the leg. I'm going to walk my hands over towards the right side. And I'm going to start to bring the right leg over as far as I can. Find this little twist in the left hip. Now, when you know it's too much, that's your stopping point. But if you can, walk your hands over a little bit more. Keep the left leg engaged and slide your right leg back a little bit. So I'm going to 
to slide that leg back just a little bit. We're going to play in here on this stretch for the left hip. Now when you're ready, walk yourself back forward, lift your right foot and bring it back in line. Bring the right knee down. Round your back, push through the arms, the crown of the head is reaching down, shoulders reach up. Curl the body in as much as you can. On your inhale, gaze forward. Try to keep the spine in a little bit more of a neutral here. Round, or take that left leg back, lift up and a little tuck in that tailbone just so I keep the spine in neutral. Round the body, curl it in as much as you can, pull the left knee through the arms and see if you can touch your nose towards your knee. On your inhale, lengthen, pull the left leg back, pull the crown of the head forward. Eyes at the elbows are reaching, round up, push through the arms, draw the belly in, curl the abdomen. Inhale, extend, lengthen, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, Round, pushing up. Inhale. Now as you inhale, spines in neutral, toes come down. Push the left heel back. So I'm getting that really nice stretch in the calf. I'm going to keep the right knee down. Right knee is in line with the right wrist. And as I'm here, I'm going to lift and take the left foot over to the left corner of my mat. Now, rise up high onto the left fingertips. Maybe gaze down and see if you can start bringing that left arm up. Turn the right elbow so the elbow faces back and the eye of the elbow is over towards the left side. Now, if you're feeling stable, start to take the gaze over towards the left and then inhale, maybe gazing up towards that left arm. See if you can gaze at the left arm with the right eye. When you're ready, release on your exhale, bring the hands down. Now, I'm going to take the leg back and I'm going to walk my hands over. So I'm going to start to slide and bring that left leg over towards the right side. And the hands are going to come over to the left. And I'm going to find this stretch in the right hip. Try to keep your right toes down and just go to your depth. You might be facing towards the left corner of your mat, or you might be facing over towards the side of your mat, the long edge. Stay your breath, maybe move a little forward and back. When you're ready, start to walk the hands forward. See if you can lift, bring the knees out a little bit wider, toes come together, press back into the hips. Walk yourself forward, think about tending the wrist. So keep this kind of active as you're doing this. So tend the fingers and then pull the chest down. Move your body a little side to side. When you're ready, press the palms down, forearms down, and then ripple up into your cat pose. Walk the hands under, bring the knees together. So I'm gonna bring the knees all the way together and I'm gonna to press to the tops of the right toes and see if you can just push into the toes a little bit. And then do the same on the left, bringing that knee in, and I'm going to kind of curl back and forth and try to press into the tops of the toes. Now, if you can, round your back as much as you can. We're going to push, and I'm going to see, can I press into the tops of the toes? Lift the knees a little bit here. Stay here for five. And four, eyes at the elbows facing towards each other. Three, press the shoulder blades up, two, and one, bring the knees down, take yourself back, child's pose. Sweep your hands back behind you, forehead presses down. I want you to bring your wrists so the wrists come to the mat, face your fingers so they're facing up, and just kind of wave your fingers in towards each other. You can make fists, you can do little waves, but keep the fingers active. On your inhale, walk your fingers forward, Inhale, lengthen your chest one more time. Exhale, press up into cat pose. Inhale, find your cow. Curl your toes. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. Sissy your knees a little side to side. And if you can, same thing. Maybe take the right toes and press to the tops of the toes. 
Notice where you feel that. You can move the toes around if that feels good. You can find a stationary position. My right knee is kind of reaching in towards my ribs, pushing away from my hands, and that toe is under. And notice where you feel this. You might feel this in the back of the ankle, the arch. When you're ready, bring the toes down, separate the feet a little bit, and start walking your hands towards your feet. Exhale, hang heavy, let the crown of the head sway. If this is too much for you right now, elbows towards knees is a really great place to be on your forward bend. So finding a comfortable forward bend where you're feeling that elongation in the back. So this is gonna decompress a lot of our spine. Press into your big toes, keeping your knees facing forward and keep a soft bend in your knees. Ribs are reaching towards the thighs. Try to tilt the tailbone slightly up and see if you can press the crown of the head down towards the forearms. And just allow yourself to move little sways. When you're ready, take your hands towards the tops of the knees and just start to roll it up or burn at a time. We're gonna come back down. Chin in towards our chest, reach and extend the arms up. As you reach up, little tuck of that tailbone so you're tightening the glutes, drop the shoulders, take the hands to the heart, immediately start to bend the knees, throw the bottom back. Let the head come down again. This time, hands towards the shins, gaze forward, lengthen, pull the belly button towards the spine, chin is pulling forward, shoulders back. Exhale, fold. So find those actions as you inhale. Lift up, lengthen, belly button towards spine, shoulders, back, chin, forward. Exhale, one more time. So inhale, finding length. Maybe bend in the knees if you need to, but again, belly button towards spine. Exhale, lower. This time, roll it up as slow as you can. Each rib is stacking over the other ribs. Ribs are right over the hips. Chest is over the rib cage. Chin is in. Arms extend, crown of the head is the last thing to come up. Reach and extend the hands down to the heart. Step to the top of your mat. So you're gonna frame your feet with your blocks. If you don't need blocks, don't worry about it. If you don't have blocks, you can probably do this without them. The block press. So I'm gonna reach and extend the arms up. And a little tuck of the tailbone as you do that, press the shoulders back, hands to the heart, thumbs press to the chest. We're gonna cross the thumbs, so just interlock, and we're gonna drop down, tailbone back, inhale, lengthen, find the chair pose. Exhale, take your hands to your heart and kind of diving forward as the tailbone lift, the head comes down. Hands to the blocks, inhale, lengthen, gaze forward. Exhale as soft as you can, pick up the right foot. Step the right foot back as though you're in slow motion. Bring the right knee down, left knee is forward. So this left knee is going to be in alignment. So I'm going to make sure the left ankle and knee are there. If they're not, I want you to adjust it, make it happen. Separate your toes on the left foot. So take a moment and actually take your fingers and separate so all your toes are separated here. If they don't separate or they kind of pop back, that's okay. It's just intent. I'm going to take my blocks up a little bit. So on this first one, I want you to pull your ribs so your ribs are pulling towards your thighs and allow the shoulders to roll back. Uncurl the toes if that's comfortable for the right hip and keep extending the chest forward. Now press to the top of the right toes. See if the right knee can lift up just a little bit. And then when you're ready, bring that right knee back down. Lift and open the heart and then exhale. I'm gonna take the fingertips down towards the ground and lightly hover the fingertips and see if you can start rounding the back up a little bit. On your inhale, come forward. If you can, push through the strength of the left leg, use the core, round, and hover the fingers off the ground. Inhale, place yourself forward. Hands are going to find the blocks. I'm going to keep that right hand on the block or maybe even take it down a notch. Palm can press down. I'm going to reach and extend the left arm up. Find a twist. Pull your left knee towards the right rib cage and press through the right arm, getting length. Gaze towards the left hand if you can and reach your left arm forward. 
inhaling forward, and then exhale, reach that arm back up, find a little twist. Inhale, reaching forward, and then exhale. Left arm is going to come down. It's going to find the block, readjust, press through your back right toes, and lift your back right knee. If you can, hop that knee in a little bit, and lift the tailbone up towards the sky. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Don't worry if the left knee bends a little bit, but if you can, keep them straight. Finding Harshvartanasana. This is a side stretch. Walk your blocks forward a little bit. Bend both knees. And then give a little pop to the front of your mat. Right foot softly plants next to the left. Let's refine our Utkatasana. So bend your knees, reach and extend your arms up. Take your hands to your heart, thumbs press to your chest, left elbow. Comes over towards the right side. Inhale, lengthen. Try to bring the thumbs towards the center of the heart. Separate the toes if you can and keep the twist. Now, if the twist isn't totally here, that's okay. If you can drop your tailbone a little bit, that's all right. Keep extending. Find how to get more of a twist and just notice what the body is doing. On your inhale, lengthen the arms. Pull the tailbone back, a little tuck of the tailbone, and then find your standing pose and just stay here for a breath or two. Let's inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. All right, other side. So reach and extend your arms up, a little tuck of the tailbone, tighten, drop the shoulders. Exhale, hands find the heart. Cross the thumbs. Bend the knees, reach the arms down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take your hands to your heart, dive forward, tailbone lengthen comes down, blocks frame the feet. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, pick your left foot up, and as slowly as you can, step the left foot back, like you're on slow-mo. Bring the left knee down, right knee and ankle line. If it's not there, walk it forward. Separate your toes on the right side. So take a moment to do that and then bring those blocks back a little bit. I'm going to, on this first one, keep your ribs forward. So keep your ribs forward and finding this torso lengthening. And if I can, I'm going to press to the back of the left toes. Now using the blocks, see if you can press into the left toes, find a little bit more length on that leg, on that hip, and maybe the left knee comes up. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Exhale, bring the knee back down. And then maybe take those blocks up a little bit. See if you can lift up through the ribs. So I don't want to compress into the lower back. And I do that by lifting the rib cage up a little bit more and then pulling the shoulder blades back. But I'm not overarching in the back when I do this. I'm keeping the hips squeezing towards each other. Lift the heart. So think about lengthening like each rib is actually pulling up a little bit more. Nice. When you're ready, let's inhale the arms for a moment. And then exhale. Take the hands down, frame the foot. So I'm going to start to round the back a little bit, pushing through the right leg. Round here. Feel this action. And then inhale, coming forward. If you can, this time, as you're rounding, squeeze in, use the core, hover the hands for three, two, Nice. Take your left hand on your block. Make sure the eye of the elbow is facing over towards the right side. Inhale the right arm, find length. If the arm doesn't come up, that's okay. Squeeze your right knee in towards the left side of your ribs. On your exhale, reach your arm forward. And then on your inhale, lift and let's open. Exhale, let's reach forward. Open. Nice. And gaze up towards the thumb if you can. And then exhale, bring it all the way down. Bring both hands back to the block. So you can take those blocks up a little bit higher. Curl your back left toes. Straighten out your back leg. So you can give a little bit of a hop forward. And then lift the tailbone up towards the sky, maybe straightening out the right leg. Bow and over it. Exhale. Keep the toes on the right separated. and rise up high onto the left leg. Bend the right knee if you need to. On your inhale, lengthen, gazing forward. And then exhale, bow. 
Inhale, bend your knee, walk yourself forward, and as slowly as you can, left foot finds the right. Exhale. Take the head down, bend your knee, so let's come in through Uttkatasana. Knees might come together, they might not, don't worry about it. Exhale, hands find the heart, and this time that right elbow is going to find the outside of the left knee. Lift up from the rib cage, thumbs might press towards the center of the heart. And exhale, sink the tailbone back a little bit, putting the weight in the heels rather than the toes. Gazing up towards the sky, you can draw the navel in. Keep lengthening with the breath. So as you're here, see if you pull the crown of the head forward as you're pulling the tailbone back. On your next inhalation, lift up, lengthen, and then exhale. Hands find the heart, thumbs press to the chest. Take one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Let's inhale through the nose. Exhale, side it out. Excellent. Bring yourself out in a wider stance. So I'm going to take myself out into wide open stance. So my legs are a little bit wider than hip distance apart. So I want you to turn your right toes over towards the short edge of your mat. Reach and extend the arms out. Now walk the left heel out, heel toe it out, until you're finding a little bit of a split, then bend into your knee. My ankles are in alignment, and my arms are reaching out. Now I'm gonna take both hands back to the rib cage, and I want you to turn your ribs towards the long edge of your mat. See if you can reach and extend the right arm out, and then pull the left arm back. Tuck the tailbone a little bit, keep the legs active, gaze down, that middle right finger. Look at your knee, make sure you can still see your big toe, and your knee is pointing towards your second and your third toe, and then drop your shoulders so your neck gets long and your ears keep reaching up. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other, almost like you're trying to tuck your right uh, glute through your right thigh, or your left glute, sorry, left glute through your left thigh. Reach the arms out, Think about extending the right arm forward, keeping the action in the leg. Just bring that right arm down. See if you can reach and open your chest over towards the long edge of your mat, and then maybe sweep the left arm over towards the right side. Now if that hurts your shoulder, reach it up towards the sky, or even just keep it down, and roll your shoulder back. So my shoulders are stacked right in line with my knee to my ankle. So everything is in this really nice, straight, open line. And then I can pull my fingers in the opposite direction of my left arch. And I'm kind of your left big toe and your right big toe. Almost like the big toes are pulling towards each other. On your next inhalation, use your left arm, pull yourself back up where you're two, and then straighten out the right leg. Turn the right toes in. And then the left toes are going to come out and find that bend in warrior two. Turn your rib cage towards the long edge of your mat. And if you need to, if you're not sure, take your hands there. Maybe the left arm comes out. Right arm comes out. Lift your back right arch. Gaze down your middle finger. Make sure your knee is doing the same thing. So it's kind of reaching and gazing down the middle toe. Make sure you can still see the inner arch of the left foot and the big toe. And then reach that left arm forward as far as you can. And so the forearm just grazes right to the top of the knee. Keep the hips lowering down, tuck the tailbone, and maybe sweep that right arm so it's coming forward over towards the left side. If that hurts the shoulder, hand comes straight up. Or reach and extend. And think about pulling your right fingertips in opposite direction as you're pulling your back right arch. So I'm kind of pushing into the pinky edge of the right foot and I'm reaching the right fingers in the opposite direction, keeping the shoulders, the knee, and the ankle all stacked. Use the right hand on your inhale, pull yourself back, straighten out your legs, turn your toes in. Bring it in just a little bit. So heel toe, take your hands to your hips, lengthen through your spine. So pull your whole rib cage up. Maybe even take your hands and lift your ribs up a little bit more. And as you exhale, pull your chin all the way forward, pull your tailbone back. 
Bend your knees, sink your knees down a little bit, and let your head come down. Now, you can interlock your fingers if that feels good, or you can just keep your arms kind of reaching up. Whatever feels like a little closer together in the front, like you're squeezing your collarbone together, and you're widening the backs of the shoulders. You can bend your elbows as much as you need to, or your knees. Inhale, one breath. And then exhale, sink into the pose a little bit more. Belly button pulls towards the spine. And inner thighs are wrapping out. Push into your big toes, lift your arches. And then when you're ready, release your hands down towards your bottom and then just take your hands down to the ground. I'm gonna walk my hands forward like I'm about to come into a wide downward facing dog. And then bring the heels in a little bit. Walk the hands back, see if you can start to find Malasana. So Malasana is that yogi squat and there's a point where it's gonna feel good or not good in the knees. And I want you to move a little side to side. Round your back and feel any little areas. So I love the word scribble. So if you take a pen and you scribble on paper, I want you to think about doing this with your body and kind of scribbling back and forth. If the heels aren't coming down, that's okay. It might look like this. And you might take one heel down to one side and even one heel down to the other side. When you're ready, you're going to come all the way down into seated pose. It doesn't have to be graceful. We're going to lower down. So try to go as slowly as you can. Chin in towards your chest. Feel this in your lower abdomen. And keep rolling down super slow. Now I'm going to slight bend to the knees, press to the tops of the feet, and lift the shoulders a little bit. We're going to find little pulses here, just for 10, 9, 8, 7. Push into the lower back, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax, bring yourself back onto your mat. So I'm going to bring myself back onto my mat. I'm going to take my left knee in. I'm going to keep my right knee where it is. And I just want you to take your left ankle to the outside of your right knee. Bring both legs over towards the right side. Gazing over towards the left side. Pressing the shoulder back away from you. When you're ready, bring your knees back up and bring your left leg down. Keep your knees both bent. Lift your heart, lift your chest, push into your lower back and your exhale. Find those little 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lowering down, grabbing onto your right knee, pulling your right knee in. Taking the right ankle to the outside of the left thigh. And then just bringing both knees over for a little twist. And allow your hips to relax here a little bit. Or maybe extend the right arm. Right shoulder might press down. Maybe gaze in that direction. When you're ready, bring your knee back into the center. Grabbing onto both knees. And just taking a moment, rolling side to side. Placing yourself down. We're going to finish off with one nice deep breath. So you're going to breathe in, hold your breath, tighten everything, and then we'll exhale, come into our Shavasana. So I want you to inhale on one, two, three, big inhale, and hold and tighten everything. Lift the feet, lift the hands, maybe the hands are overhead. Tighten, tighten your face, tighten your ears, tighten your hands, tighten your legs, tighten your toes, three. Two, big exhale. And then just find your Shavasana. Maybe separate the hands. The fingers can separate. Allowing your legs to come out a little bit wider and giving yourself the opportunity to relax. This is your body's reward for putting in effort and energy into opening everything. 
And the body loves rewards. It kind of rewards you when it gets more rewards. It works harder and stronger the more we give it this balance of active and still. And so maybe notice how you feel differently than where you started. Staying here for a few more breaths. Being still and quiet in your mind. Offering yourself big open. Stay here for as long as you can. I do want to share with you a, a thought for today, and this one is by Wumi. It says, as you start to walk out on your way, the way appears. Sometimes in life we feel like we have to have all the answers, and we don't. We have to have the intent of where we want to go. And with that intent, the way will appear for us. We don't have to know that it's there to start our journey. And so thank you so much for starting your Monday journey with me. Um, I love these classes. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. Um, it really helps um, build this channel up. And if you can like, I love your comments. Um, if there are classes that you would like to see, I would love to offer those specific classes for you. All right, thank you so much again. And